Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through coupling. Okay, so basically whenever you are talking about coupling, we need a minimum coupling guys. So basically you can say coupling is nothing but interaction or a connection between different different modules also. Okay, so if the components or modules are having more dependency on each other, then they should be combined and made into one module guys. Only then it will be a better idea. If they are connected separately and the one is depending on another, what is the use guys? So that is the reason why we should always have low cohesion, sorry, low coupling guys. Okay. So you need to have low dependencies. Okay. So coupling is the measure of the degree of independence between the modules. So whether they are independent or dependent on each other, a good software will have low coupling. So we are requesting for low coupling. So the types are data coupling, stamp coupling, control coupling, external coupling, common coupling, context coupling. Okay. So again, this is best and this is worst. So basically here it is indirectly low and here it is high. So we don't like these things and we like these things guys, the topmost things. Okay. So first let us go through one after the other again in the same order, which we have written here. So data coupling. So if dependency between the modules is based on the fact that the communication by passing only data. So basically they only pass the data between them guys. There is no major major interaction between them. So the only data is transferred in between them. So I think this could be a best thing, right? So there is no proper, there is only data interaction between them. So that's the best idea. Okay. So the second type of coupling is a stamp coupling in stamp coupling. Okay. In stamp coupling, the complete data structure is passed from one node to another node. So, okay. In this situation also, we can consider it. It is a good one. So basically the data structure or the data, which is collected in a will be sent as an input to B. Okay. So here also we are not having so much issues. So control coupling. Okay. So if the cup, if the modules communicate by passing control information, then they are said to be control coupling like flags. So basically if you recall some kind of applications in that, so assume in this way. Okay. So based on input, these two are considered guys. If it is true, it will be considering that if it will be false, it will be considering this. So in this way, here we are transferring some control. So based that is nothing but a single flag we are sending here. So based on that flag, one is executed and one is not executed. So that is nothing but control coupling guys. Okay. Similarly, we are having an external coupling. In external coupling, the module depends on other modules externally, like software databases, servers and everything. Okay. Common coupling. The module have shared global variables. So basically both the data or both the modules depend on one particular data. Okay. Content coupling. So this is what we don't want guys. This is also the main thing. So if you ask which, which of the following should not be there or should not exist in coupling, if you are making a design, this should not be there. So here one module modifies the data of another module. Is it a good thing guys? So this module can modify this data. So is it a safe? No. So this is all about coupling guys. So coupling is nothing but the interaction between modules you can say, and it should be minimum. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about coupling. So in the next lecture, we will be going through the complete component level design, how it is done. We'll be discussing in our next lecture, like guys in steps one after the other, we'll be discussing about in the next lecture itself. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.